What's up everybody? This is Tim from Arm Wrestling Secrets. This morning we were working on uh, how to build hand strength with uh, Olympic plates. And in this video, I wanted to talk about how to build hand strength with kettlebells. Stick around. Okay guys, so we're looking at a bunch of kettlebells here. I have a little selection that we're gonna use for hand strength today. I'm a big believer in kettlebells. We're gonna be doing a lot of different kettlebell training uh, for a lot of different body parts, but this is the ones I like to use for my hands. They have a very thick grip. Okay, we have 35 pounds for all of you guys who are in Europe or other countries, 16 kilos, okay. Um, and then down from there, and I'm gonna show you why I brought a selection up as opposed to just one of the heavier ones, okay. We're gonna do a drop set as well. So I got uh, 35, a 26, 18, 15, and then uh, 10. And those are all in pounds. Uh, stick around and we'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do with those. Okay, so we're here to use kettlebells to strengthen the hands and the grip. Okay, so we talked this morning about how to use Olympic plates to start working on the grip and hand strength, okay? And we're also going to use kettlebells for hand strength. Kettlebells are some of my favorite things to use. So um, here's what we're going to do. Um, this morning we talked about building shelf strength in the hand. And what I, want, what I mean by that is your strength to keep your fingers in this position without without losing it, okay? Like I said this morning, that's your containment strength in arm wrestling, your ability to contain the opponent when they're trying to break through your fingers, break out of your hand, roll through your fingers in a top roll maneuver, something like that. Your ability to stop that has a great deal to do with your ability to contain the opponent's strength with your strength here. And that is a very neglected part of arm wrestling strength. And I mentioned that this morning. So I'm gonna use kettlebells and I'll show you how to use uh, kettlebells to uh, build shelf strength. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna put a little bit of chalk on my fingers. If you don't have any chalk on your fingers, I suggest buying some chalk because it's gonna help you get a grip on the weights that you're using. Your hands get sweaty when you get sweaty and when you get sweaty, you start to lose your grip. When you start to lose your grip, you can't exert the same amount of force on the weight. Therefore, you're not doing very good strength training. So make sure to use some chalk uh, before you do these moves. It'll make a big difference. Okay, so I'm gonna chalk my hands a little bit real fast and then I'm gonna demonstrate exercise number one for you. So here we go. Okay, chalking up. Okay. So I'm focusing the chalk in this case uh, just a little bit on my finger just a little bit on my fingertips here, okay? You don't need it all over your hands. It's just gonna be on the fingers and I'll show you why. Here's exercise number one, okay? So I'm gonna use a fairly heavy, uh, I'm gonna use the heaviest kettlebell here, the 35 pounder for my initial exercise. This is just gonna be a maximum set of active repetitions with the 35 in that shelf, hand shelf position. I don't have any names for these exercises, so just um, go ahead and watch. Here we go, exercise number one. Okay, so as you can see, this is the, 35 pound, 16 kilogram uh, kettlebell. So here's what I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna spread my feet apart pretty wide, okay? You can see my hand here. What I'm gonna do is let that drop to the fingertips and then I'm going to pull it up into that shelf position. Do you see that there? Okay, drop, hold, drop, hold. It's right on the end of your fingers. It's really hard, okay? It's really hard on the muscles of the fingers here. Hold, drop, Hold, drop, hold. And I'll do as many of those as I can in a row and then I'll switch hands. Okay guys, so exercise number two for building hand strength with kettlebells is gonna be the same thing, isometric hold. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, same kettlebell I have here, okay? We're still letting it drop to the end of the fingers. I'm letting it hang between my legs here, okay? Everything's out of the way. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is isometric hold. So instead of doing the active repetitions like we were doing before, I'm just going to do one rep. I'm letting my arm hang straight. I'm gonna step back so you guys can see my whole body here. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So I'm holding this as long as I can until I can't hold the weight anymore. And then I'll move on to the other arm. Okay, and then the third exercise I wanted to show you for hand strength with kettlebells was, was really similar. It's the same movement, but I wanted to add a drop set at the end, okay? So that's starting with your maximum weight and then moving down. And this is gonna build really, really, really good endurance 
in the hand and the containment strength, okay? So here's what we're going to do on this one. I'm not gonna do the whole set, but I'll give you the idea of what you can do on your own, okay? So I'm gonna line up um, a bunch of kettlebells here. I have one, two, three, four, five kettlebells. The kettlebells I showed you at the beginning of the video. Um, and I'm gonna show you what a drop set looks like. And this is a great way to build endurance for arm wrestling. And I'm gonna touch on this uh, drop set subject time and time again as the series goes on, but here's how it applies to your, uh, to your hand strength and the kettlebells. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, and this is how I like to finish the exercise uh, program for the hands in terms of uh, building shelf strength with kettlebells. Okay, here's what it looks like. Okay, I got all my kettlebells lined up all together here on the floor. I have chalk on my fingers. I'm gonna start with the heaviest one and go from the heaviest one to the next one to the next one to the next one until I get down to the 10 and I'll do as many reps as I can with each one until I have to stop and then I'll immediately go on to the next kettlebell without any rest at all, okay? So I'll show you what that looks like. Here we go. Okay, so kettlebells are lined up. I'm gonna start with the 35. And I'm just gonna start wrapping out. When I get tired, I'm gonna go right on to the next one. Here we go. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. You're starting to get tired now. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'll just do 20 here, 17. 18, 19, let's say that was the last one you could do. You move right on to the next one. Next weight down, one, two, three. Once again, you're doing as many as you can do. Don't worry about counting the numbers. Picking exact numbers is no way to do it. You just go until you can't do another one. Okay, let's say that was the last one I could do. Going on, moving on to the next one. Okay, this is a drop set. We're continuing to build mass endurance in the fingers and the grip. Okay, this is a drop set. Let's say that was the last one I could do. We're almost there, we got the 15 in here. Once again, no rest at all. No rest. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You might feel like your hand's getting a cramp when you first start doing these. I can do these quite a bit heavier, but I wanted to give these for a good demonstration. Okay, let's say that was the last I could do, and then I'm finishing with this 10, which feels pretty light, but for some of you, this might feel pretty heavy, okay? Working, you get the idea by now, we're working, working. You see how the shelf position of the hand stays really straight, my fingers stay really straight as I'm doing these exercises. My arm is hanging straight, straight down, I'm backing up now, okay? So this is what it looks like when I'm just standing, okay? Really simple, my body's supported with my arm here, okay? You can let it hang straight down, crunch, 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 okay? Until you can't comfortably do another. So when you're setting up your own drop sets on your own with your own kettlebells, pick a weight that's heavy enough to where it's gonna lead you to uh, muscle exhaustion in the hand after about eight or 10 reps, okay? And then pick the next weight down, maybe 10, 20% down. Uh, maybe 10, 10 pounds less, 15 pounds less, and then do as many reps as you can, drop again, do as many reps as you can, and hit exhaustion on all of the kettlebells before you finish. It's a fantastic exercise to build the containment strength that you need to win at the arm wrestling table. I'll see you in the next one.